today's video i will be showing you how you can create a news website from scratch the website is going to look just like the one you are seeing over here which is gentsmultimedia.com news website it's going to have a header over here and it will be having all these menus over here as well as when we come down to the main page you'll be seeing all these social bars over here and then you'll be seeing different categories as you are seeing right here on your screen we are going to build the news website just like the one you are seeing over here so what i want from you is to just hit the like button for me and let's quickly dive into today's tutorial now before you create a website you need a domain and hosting your domain name is just the name of your branch or your own name the hosting is the company that you are storing your files in for this tutorial we are going to use hostinger so you can check the link in description of this video and then quickly you're gonna click on that link and then it will simply take you over to the hostinger page over here in case you don't want to use hostinger i have another affiliate link in description of this video that is from namecheap so you can also click on that one and then it will simply take you to the namecheap website so that you can buy your domain and hosting from there so let's quickly buy our domain and hosting right now from hostinger what you need to do when you arrive on this page after you click the link in description you're gonna just sign in with your google account from here or you're gonna fold this form in order to sign in so let's quickly sign in with our google account by clicking our google account and then over here you can see it has logged us in on hostinger account so this is a hostinger dashboard i have an account over here already that is why you can see my previous domains are over here all my different domains are over here and this is where i'm going to build the website right now now you need to buy your domain and hosting over here so simply just go to where it says hosting click over there and then simply you're gonna click get new hosting plan and then you can see different hosting plans over here hostiga is having a lot of cheap plans for you over here in order to purchase your hosting so i always recommend that you go for the business web hosting because it's made up of 100 websites you can get 200 gig storage over here daily backups free email unlimited free ssl and the rest you can also choose the premium web hosting in case you don't have the money to afford the business web hosting we are only going to launch a news website so any of these two hosting plans can help you in order to launch this website so just go ahead and select one of them and then you're gonna use your card in order to buy it so you can simply select it and then it will arrive you on this page and then you can select the number of months that you want maybe 12 months which is one year or 24 months when you select any of them you will be getting a discount for each of them remember to use the link in the description to sign up so that you can get your discounts over here so any one of them will be giving you a discount okay so let's say for instance you want to go for 12 months you can just choose that plan and then you're gonna come here choose payment method so right here you can choose any payment method right from paypal or gpay or visa card or any other payments you can also use your bitcoin where you click on other ways to pay you can pay with your binance or any other bitcoin service that you have you can pay right here so hostinger accepts all those services so just go ahead and enter your details and then select the payment method that you want and then you can simply pay for your hosting so right after paying for your hosting then this is what you need to do let's come back to the dashboard and let me show you so right here on the dashboard after you purchase your hosting let's go to hosting again you're gonna see your hosting right here i have used some percentage of the resources that is why it's showing 60 percent your own might show different okay so just go ahead and then you are going to launch your new website by coming to where it says websites so over here whenever you purchase a hosting hosting will be giving you a free domain so when you are launching the website you can just search a domain name and then to be connected automatically to your hosting plan that is one thing that is good about hosting okay so just come over here and click add website and then you're gonna click here wordpress and then you're gonna select one of these let's say block and then just go ahead and set this just put in your password over here and then you can simply click here continue 
and then all these plugins just leave them just keep all these plugins because we are not going to use them for now but we can install them in the future just keep it over here it will be asking you to select a team over here but we are not going to use any of these teams because we are going to use a pro team which is a smart mark team when we move on so just come over here and click skip and then simply to be asking you in order to choose a domain or you should use an existing domain okay so right here you can see i have this domain already which is globaltrustnews.com so it's showing right here for me to select in case you don't have the domain already you just simply go to buy new domain and then automatically you'll be getting one free domain name in addition to your hosting plan so you are not going to pay for that so simply just search for your domain name and then you can simply add it and then from there it will be added to your card okay in case you have different domain from different services maybe from namecheap or any other hosting service you can use here use an existing domain okay so let's just click here select and then simply it will be installing wordpress right here on our domain so right now it's installing the ssl together with the wordpress everything for us so we just wait for some few seconds so right here our wordpress is being installed successfully you can see what well done you are ready so what we need to do next is to simply go to our wordpress admin dashboard and start creating our website so let's just click here admin panel sometimes when you click admin panel it will not take you directly to this page sometimes it will take you to the login page and sometimes it may delay so when it happens like that you don't need to worry just go ahead and refresh your page and then simply it's going to log you in over here remember the password you use when you are launching the wordpress that is going to be your main password so whenever you log out from your admin panel you can be able to use that password to log in again so congratulations you now arrive yourself on your wordpress dashboard so what you need to do is to just skip this and then come over here and click on home which is your dashboard and then simply we are going to start building our website so first of all let's go ahead and clear this dashboard so that it will be looking very nice so let's just come to the top over here where it says screen option click over there and then uncheck all these things over here so that your dashboard will be looking very nice okay so that after you have unchecked it just click there and then everything is gone so what we need to do now is let's preview our website on a new tab and let's see how exactly our website is looking before we start designing this new website so right here on new tab you can see this is how our website is looking this is our brand new wordpress website globaltrustnews.com this is how it's looking okay but at the end of the day our website is going to look exactly just like what you are seeing right here so let's go ahead and do that right now so what you want to do right now is to come over here to our dashboard and then first we need to set our permalink for us to set our permalink what you need to do is to come over here to where it says settings and then we're gonna click here permalinks so permalinks always give link structure to our website so let's just remove the permalink for custom structure and then we're gonna put it at post name so just click post name and then just scroll down here and then click save changes so it's very important for you to always set your permalink first before you start building your website so right after setting your permalink this is what you need to do next let's go and set our team team give appearance and look to our website so right now let's come over here and click on appearance and then we're gonna click here teams so you can see different teams are already here for us the first team over here is what we are using currently on our website but we are going to change this team to a pro team which is a smart mark news team that is what we are going to use over here we are not going to use any of this team or any team on wordpress here we are going to use a smart mark team okay so simply let me show you how to get this smart mark you can come to google and then you're gonna write smart mark it's a very good news team out there that you can use to build your news magazines okay so right now you can see it's on team forest yes smart mark let me show you the price before i show you how exactly you can get this team so right now you can see this is a team that we are about to use okay smart mark newspaper magazine and news wordpress 
is sold at $59 okay but if you want this team at a very cheap price just check the link in description and get in touch with my team and then we're gonna help you to get this smart mark team at a very low price okay so just check the link in description of this video and make sure you get in touch so this is the smart mark team that we are about to use so simply let's go back to our dashboard where we are setting our team and then you're gonna come over here add new team and then what you want to do is to click here upload team and then to display like this you just click here choose file and then i'm going to select the team from my device and bring it right here okay so make sure you check the link in the description so that you can be able to get this team at a very low price okay so let me just come here this is smart mark let me just upload it right here by clicking install now so it will simply take you to this page and this is what you need to do just click here activate and then right there our smart mark team is being successfully activated so this is what you need to do there are some plugins that this team needs to run very well so let's begin to install those plugins you'll be seeing it here begin installing plugins so just click begin installing plugins and then these are the plugins that are required for the team to work plugin are simply some kind of add-ons that can help the team to function very well or your website to function very well so let's go ahead and install them one by one or you can just simply select all of them and then bulk action you're gonna click install and then click here apply and then all the plugins will be installed successfully on your wordpress dashboard so right after installing these plugins this is what you need to do next let's go ahead and go back to the home page that is a dashboard and then let's go to our website now and simply let's refresh our website and see how it's looking now so you can see our website is now looking very nice and very beautiful with our header over here as well as our footer over here now in case you are new at wordpress the top bar over here is called a header and then the middle over here is called a body and then the down here is called a footer okay so let's go ahead and design this website to look exactly like this one that we are seeing right here so let's take our time to design this website very nicely now before we design the website like that in case you want me to design your website for you just check the link in description and get in touch with me maybe you want to build your e-commerce store i can help you to build that store very nicely so check the link in description and make sure you get in touch with me so let's go ahead and design our website before we design our website is first let's come here to post and then we're gonna click here or post and now you can see we have sample post over here which is hello world let's just go ahead and delete this post because we don't need it so click on trash and then that post will be gone okay so what we need to do now is to go ahead and then we are going to create our first page so the first page is going to be our home page just like the way this website over here is having a home page so on the home page all these categories are being established so let's go ahead and create our home page but before we create our home page let's go ahead and install one important plugin that can help us to create these pages very well so let's come over here to plugins and then click here add new plugin and then the plugin that we want to install is what we call classic editor this is what we are going to use in order to create our pages our blog posts and whatever okay so you'll be seeing it over here classic editor in case you don't see it over here just make sure you search it from the search bar over here so it's already here so let's click install now and then let's click activate so our classic editor plugin is being activated so let's go ahead and create our home page very quickly just over your mouse on pages and then click add new page and then it will simply display the interface like this for you we are going to name our page home page so just write home over here i always like creating these pages in block letters so you can also use small letters it doesn't matter okay so just scroll down right here 
so over here where it says layout type select full width and then where it says page show page title click over here and select no we don't want any page title over here and then over here where it says hide breadcrumb let's click here to hide breadcrumb because we don't want breadcrumbs to be on our home page okay so let's go ahead and then we're gonna click here publish so once again after we have created our home page let's go back and then let's refresh our website again and see how exactly our website is looking you can see there is no better change on our website but let's go ahead and design our home page so that there will be a change on our website now before we design our home page let's create some damning posts so that it will reflect on our website when we finish designing our home page so let's switch so simply over your mouse on post and then click add new post and then remember this is a news website so we are going to create some news articles over here now how do you get these news articles you can get a lot of news articles from media pages on google as well as google news as well as different news platforms that are available online over here i'm just going to copy some news articles from the gent multimedia website right here for you so that we can simply move on very quickly i'm not saying that it's best to be copying news item no you must always go ahead and then go over to google make sure you make your research very well in order to get these news articles so simply let's say for instance let me click on this one and then this is the news article over here and then let me just simply let me copy the headline over here and then i'll paste it right here and then what i want to do next is to just copy some few articles from here just to show example and then let me just save this image and use this image right here so after you have gotten your image just come over here and then we are going to put the image as our featured image and then let's click here to select item so let's set this as our featured image and then let's add this news article into a category so just come over here and click add new category and then you can name the category anything for example the news article is us news it can be global news whatever news it depends on your country and the kind of news article that you are writing okay so over here i pick this news article from politics so i can simply write politics over here as the category name and then simply i'm gonna click here add new category and then it's selected so i'll just go up and click here publish so that news article is added let me add one more news article from here and then we move on just to show example so let me copy this heading over here so if you really want to learn how to write news article from scratch make sure you check the link in the description and get in touch with me and i'll be helping you in order to get the news right from the source as well as the way you can write them okay so simply let's add new post again by clicking here and then let me bring that heading over here let me bring that heading over here and then let me go ahead and copy the news blog just the beginning over here just showing example okay so let me just grab the thumbnail once again over here i want to use this image so let me just come to where it says thumbnail and then let me set featured image right there and then we're gonna click here upload files let's select the file again it's always advisable to write the alt test the alt test simply describe the image okay so it's always advisable to be writing them too so let's set featured image i don't want this video to be too long so let's click here so let's come over here to category and then we can set this as 
for example us news or whatever news so let's just set this for example us news and then let's add this category and then what we'll be doing is to publish this article so right here we have gotten about two posts or articles on our website as well as our home page is being created already so we'll go and then we are going to design our home page right now so right from here let's go ahead and design our home page so for us to design our home page let's come back to pages and then we're gonna go to all pages and then right here you can see the home page that we've created first just click here edit and then we are going to edit this page with elementor for us to create a page with it okay so let's just click here edit with elementor and then to simply open this interface for you what you need to do is to refresh this page again and then this scene will be moved over here so this is our home page that we are building with elementor over here elementor is just a page builder okay so this is what we are going to do let's just simply make sure that we drag and drop any elements over here in order for us to build this home page so this is what we are going to do whatever thing that you see at this side are elements that you can just drag and drop right here in order to build your website and also smart mark has its own studio over here for you to use this is very good thing about this particular team so let's just use smart studio over here click here smart studio and then you can see it's having a couple of templates for you to use for different places on your page okay but we are not going to use this one let's just come over here to the top where it says home page and layout let's see some different home pages that are available over here so this is going to display different good templates for you over here to use in order to build your website okay in case you don't see it when you come to home page and layout you can simply come to this side over here where it says home page you're gonna click here and then you can see a lot of good templates over here that you can use let's say for instance i want to use this template over here what i want to do is to simply click on it like this and then you can preview the templates right from the top to the bottom and see how exactly your website is going to be looking okay so this is how the website will be looking in case you don't like it just simply go back over here or if you like it just click here insert and then it will be showing importing so the whole template is going to be import on your website and then you can use it so it will simply be displaying like this for you you can see this is a full website that is over here it's displaying the blog post that we place over there you can see it's displaying them over here everything is very nicely over here including our social bars at the side over here and then everything is very good now all these are different sections that you are seeing so you can just go ahead and set all the sections with their different names for example you can see over here is saying latest articles if i want to change this to latest news for instance i can simply just click on the pencil over here and then you can just come over here to where it says heading make sure you click there and then you can see latest article is over here when it's having that quotation mark over there it's making it to be in black okay so the one without the quotation mark is in green as you are seeing over here that is a default team so for example i can just remove this article and then i'll write news over there so this will become latest news you can see it over here whenever you do anything remember to click here update or publish okay so you can see it right here you can do the same thing for all the sections over here for instance if you want to determine the kind of post that will be displayed over here just simply click on post source and then you can see from category you can just select any category that you want for example if i select politics it means only politics article will be displayed over here or only political articles will be displayed over here but if i select the two of them for example politics and the news for example you can see the two of them are displaying over here when you publish more articles you can just separate all the categories and then different posts will be displaying in different categories or sessions okay so make sure you do that so everything is very nice now let's go back 
so that is our home page over here and then let's go and refresh our website and see how it's looking now you can see two posts has appeared over here but let's refresh again you can see it's just these two posts that are showing over here nothing is showing over here i'm going to show you exactly how you can make your home page to display right here as well as on the header so let's go and do that for us to do that we have to create menus and how do we create this menu simply we can just come over here and then we open our mouse over here and then we're gonna click customization or customize remember we can do the same thing under menus okay but let's do it under customize so that we'll do everything at once so let's simply go ahead and customize our home page over here so first let's create the menus by just coming down over here and then we're gonna see menus over here let's click on it and then let's create a new menu by clicking here create new menu and then let's name the menu whatever thing we want to name it for example let's name it top menu because we want it to be on the top of header over here so top menu and then simply make sure you select main navigation as well as main navigation mobile optional okay so you can select this this is optional you can just leave it if you don't want so just click here next so you can see our menu is now created so let's go ahead and add items to our menu so what item do you want to add to our header we want to add the home page to our header because the website that we are designing over here you can see home is on the header over here okay so let's do exactly that so let's click here add item and there you can see it's displaying two homes over here this is the home that we have designed that is the elemental one okay very soon this one will not be displayed again as we set as we set it okay so let's just simply go ahead and select this home page over here so that is what we are adding to our menu over here you can see it under the top menu over here and then click here publish So right after doing that what you want to do again is to go ahead and go back here is to go back and then you can simply create another menu that is footer menu that will be the down over here okay so you can just simply click here and then you can create footer menu so just write footer now on this menu you are going to add your privacy policy disclaimer and the rest of the pages that you'll be creating future okay for assets approval or any ad network approval so simply this is footer links so you can select footer links and then click next so your menu is being created so simply click publish okay so when you create new pages you can simply come here add items and then you're gonna add those pages over here okay so one thing that we want to do also is to add some few categories to the menu remember we create two categories which is politics and us news so let's go back to the top menu this is our top menu okay so click on it and let's add item again that is what i forget so let's come here to categories and then let's select politics us news you can just allow blocks to be here blocks is just a category where you don't put any post into any category it will come to this one okay so just leave it over here so let's click publish this one is repeating twice so let's delete one of them over here simply click on it click here remove so let's publish again so those categories and pages are being put on the header that is the top menu so let's go back and then now let's come to this place that it says home page setting this is very important place this is going to make your home page displayed so in case you are writing an article it's not displaying on your home page this is what you need to do when you come to home page setting click here a static page and then click here to select your home so this is the main home that we have designed with elementor so you see it right now it will be displaying right here okay so boom you can see it right here it's displaying everything together with our top menus and everything right here everything is looking nice and then you can simply leave this over here and then click here publish 
so right now when we go back to our website and i refresh our website you will see how it will be looking so let's refresh our website now so everything is now looking very nice okay when we post more articles it's going to fill all these spaces that we are seeing over here so everything is looking very very good just like the first website that i show you okay everything is looking very good so let's go ahead and then over here we want to just change this name over here you can also bring your own banner and put it over here or your logo and put it over here okay so let's go back and then i just want to use this test so this is what we are going to do over here where it says site identity click it and then we are just going to remove this dot com from here and then let's make this to become a block letter so right now our site identity will be looking very nice you don't need to worry we can just put a tagline over here okay a tagline just describe what your website is about so we can write get latest news here or get your latest news here and then simply you can just click here publish so right here when we refresh our website you'll be seeing a lot of changes now everything will be looking very complete so you can see go back trust news home politics us news you can add more categories later on you can see everything is looking very beautiful right here okay so this is our website now just simply go ahead and create more blog posts and then make sure you customize your website very well as well as make sure you create some footer menus in case you need adsense approval or any ad network approval so this is our website right here everybody can see everything is very nicely this is a website that is built by smart mark in case you want me to design your website for you just check the link in description of this article of this video and get in touch with me and i'm gonna help you in order to do that all right see you in the next video